We are back at the Corbett boat ramp where if you saw the last video we did, the S10 pickup, all of this was underwater. Like we had like a big flood came through here, 10 feet higher. We're going after a pickup truck today, a Dodge. The Dodge is facing about that direction. Next to it is a Toyota pickup also sitting on its wheels right next to it. Down river is a car that's upside down. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to mark the Dodge get the lift bags on it, get it floating. Anyway, if you guys don't know Jonathan, he was on the Corvette video. Here, I'll leave a link to that one if you've not seen the Corvette video. I think that was the uh, first viral video you've ever been uh, involved in. Right. Could not be doing it without Jonathan and other volunteers like himself. So, sir, thank you for being here Absolutely. today. Absolutely. We're gonna suit up and go get in the water. Since we're at the Columbia River with a current, we're actually going to be taking the line down to market, but tying it off as well to, um, Jarrett's truck. Jarrett here, by the way, is a uh, fan and a viewer. So Jarrett, thanks for coming out today and uh, hanging out yes. with us. Just drop us a note if you're in the Portland area or really anywhere across the US because we are taking this show on the road and traveling. We're going to Colorado, Kentucky, Canada this year, Michigan, Oklahoma, Jeez. Georgia, Florida. Like we're all over this year. So you never know where we're gonna be. So if you wanna volunteer, drop me a note and we'll get you on the map. On that note, in the water we go, Jarrett. Up from the rope here, up from the Dodge, is a one ton dually pickup farm truck. I'm gonna say late 70s, early 80s. That's kind of my impression too, yeah. Yeah, with a uh, great big kind of a barn door flatbed to it. Yep. With a whole bunch of engine parts in it. So we're gonna come back for that one. I'll put you in charge of the back. Okay. I'll take a tank and a chain with me. Okay. To go prep, meet me back in the back wheel. Okay. Downside to all those right now, Jarrett, is that we only have access to one wheel to actually get a lift. In addition to that, the rope is kind of like going downstream and then back upstream. So as soon as Jonathan comes up, we're gonna see what we can do to tighten up this rope a little bit. In fact, we might just have you move the truck that way a little bit. Once we do that, then we'll get two more bags on it. Should be floating. The rest of it's up to the tow truck once they get here. That's the plan. Waiting on Jonathan. How's it looking? It's interesting. Is it full? Mostly. I'm gonna unfasten it from the truck real quick. I'm gonna hold it right here. Have you bring it to the driver's side of the truck or make sure that it stays on the up upstream side. Good. It's down around the front window. Okay, that's perfect. Is it 41? That's what it's saying right here. Yeah, I at believe our it. At our deepest, yeah. yeah. 
or if you want to see the depth and the temperature as you're watching the video, in the bottom right hand side, if you've not already noticed that, the pair lens here records everything you need to know. Yep. So how deep are we? How cold is it? Once we get all that done, then we will just wait for our tow truck to come, winch it out, and we should be good to go. Back is up, it's trying to uh, float. I don't know if we have enough lift bags on it though. Yeah, we'll actually pull in on the rope. Yeah. We can pull in about 15, 10, 15 feet of rope. Oh, perfect. And uh, you can feel it spinning as you're pulling it in. Okay, yes, hopefully so, we can just get it on its wheels. That's, yeah, exactly. My lift bags currently are a failure. Like the bags themselves are like incredible. Right. Just the whole strapping system. So it's back to the drawing board on that one. Let that be a life lesson. Don't give up, we're gonna get it. But normally we would have the truck completely floating, but because they're like clamshelling up. Right, because the they're not spread out, out. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. Wait, for some the myrtle words, try, try better, fail, try better, fail, try better again. Words of wisdom from Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting good, pretty good pull as we're trying to pull it in just by hand. So you can feed, see we've almost pulled 20 feet in just by hand. That's a good movement. So it should make it really easy for that tow truck now. Oh yeah, I mean it's on its nose, so. Yeah, easy. Before you go, I got something for you. So this is uh, Dave Mack, he's one of our uh, supporters. In fact, you, you can become a supporter as well by clicking the join button. Part of the team is what we call the first sponsorship level, $5 a month. We'll get you early access to the videos that we're putting out. I mean, you're part of the team. Part of the team always gets to see stuff first. In addition to that, we have air sponsors for $10. You get uh, additional photos, things like that. And then we've got gear sponsors like Mr. Uh, Dave Mack over here. This is like a special thing. While he was out last time, he's like, hey, do you have any more of those saw blades? If you sign up to be a gear sponsor, I will guarantee you, you will not be getting a saw blade. But I do appreciate <laughs> your gear sponsorship anyway. It helps us to get out here to clean up the environment. So go click that join button right now. Mr. Dave Mack, here's a saw blade for you. Thank you. Hey, absolutely. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, supporting us. Hey, some people call this adventure with a purpose. These guys just call this Thursday. What kind of car is it, Jared? It's a uh, pickup truck, single cab Dodge. Scott and I, make sure you subscribe if you've not already done so because we're going on quite the uh, little adventure today. We are going to be way more successful than what is happening right now. A 30 year old missing bridesmaid went missing 30 years ago some of the uh, viewers so we appreciate you the viewers who let us know about these cold cases so we know of like the last known spot that she was in and then she took off in a direction towards Astoria and 30 years later she's still missing so hopefully this is just a matter of being the first people there after 30 years and, and finding this truck so you never know what we're gonna get into on this channel so like I said be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and uh, on that note, hopefully we can get the tow truck down there today. <laughs> What's with this? Is this that part of your costume or whatever? What do I got? I got mud on me? Is there mud? Oh, I was standing behind the uh, tow truck yeah, as it no, was flinging was, mud. Was... I'm going against everything I've ever been taught. Right. By coming through this. 
I'm gonna try it. I'll get through there. This is Elite Towing. These guys, incredible people, they're out here on their own dime, volunteering their time, their services, the drivers aren't getting paid, the companies aren't getting paid to help us clean up the environment. Could not be doing this without them. Use the discount code YouTube with this phone number right here on the screen. If you're anywhere in the Portland Metro Vancouver market, they will give you an additional 10% off Plus a special price on top of that. Yep. Good guys, they're out here to volunteering their time, so no problem, right? Eh. Whatever happens, all right, just know that whatever happens, I'll record it. Yeah, oh, I know, I know, <laughs> you're waiting, <laughs> you're waiting. You know, peer pressure is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, don't worry about it. See, that's what Brandon did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes and punch it! Good job. Yeah, you got it in there. Yeah. No, when we first started this, we joked, I joked candidly with it about pulling 25 cars out of the river. We had no clue we would be pulling 25 cars out of the river. <laughs> and this is number 25. Yeah. And you're committed to doing the right thing. Time flies, man. I think today's 31. Maybe 32. A lot, which is good. Yeah. Hey, how do you like all of our new, uh... I love it, man. Straps. Love it. Donated by another tow company that's supporting us. Marlo's Towing, I'll leave the link right here. Incredible uh, people, supporters of ours, donated four of these and some other uh, underwater recovery systems. So go check them out. Especially if you need a tow somewhere in Ohio. All right, you're good to go. <laughs> we had to use aircraft the last time we lost float bags on the Columbia. It took two days. As you saw, we just ended up losing the lift bags. I think with everything that was attached to that rear tire, once it started moving and we started actually pulling, it might have got wedged right next to um, that other truck right next to it. The Toyota? That Toyota, and as you're trying to wrench it off of that Toyota, it just finally just pop, maybe just pop that tire off. We're gonna chalk it up to another learning experience is really how we're gonna chalk this one up. Today's gonna be uh, dedicated to uh, breast cancer awareness. Is it safe to say that everybody here has been affected by somebody that's yes. had cancer of some sort? Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, I've lost a mother-in-law and what we actually have here is a letter that came in from a viewer. Keith and family, his wife Tiffany, and his son even drew me like a little uh, diver's rule flag down there. I can't help everybody, but with the power of this platform with YouTube, with, with Facebook, you the viewers, Tiffany, her, her uh, husband Keith, their son, they don't have any insurance, and Tiffany just started chemo. So I can't shout out all GoFundMes, but let's uh, do what we can for this family. I will leave a link in the description below. You can check out their updates and you can decide for yourself if you would like to help out the family. Me personally, I'm gonna donate $50. See if you can match that. Even if you can just do $1, $5, anything's going to help this family. Do what you can to help out. And uh, Tiffany, Keith, I hope that uh, this helps you guys out. Thanks for being supporters of ours and thanks to everybody else for watching what we do. We'll come back to it, but we want to be respectful of Doug and Elite's time. We really appreciate them coming out. So really, on that note, we tried. We tried. We tried. That's it for now. Later, later. Bye-bye. <laughs>